All right, service droid back again for a quick and easy repair. Actually, this time we're just gonna change the hard drive. It's another opportunity to open it up and show you the uh, how we disassemble this Lenovo uh, IdeaPad 800 something. Lenovo IdeaPad 115 IBY or LBY, whatever. All right, we're now closed. Now, what happened to this poor little thing? This just dropped while on and operating. Now, one of the things that broke was the screen. And the hinges, actually, this hinge broke. Uh, the bezel broke. Everything around it broke. Uh, this little corner here. Anyway, what happened? What happens here is that the screen, the hinge, comes up to here and there's a metal standoff where it screws in. Uh, this metal standoff of course broke off and there's nothing to do to glue it. There's no other way to fix it unless you want it you, you want to pierce it with a with a bolt there or anything. So what I did I tried several methods? Uh, the method that worked is I just uh, I don't know if you can see. Can you? Not really. The method that worked for this case was to drown it in hot glue and leave it there. It was an experiment that worked, and now after a uh, I've been testing for I've been testing for like weeks now and it works perfectly. Now one other thing is this. The only thing that worked for me was the T seven thousand glue or B seven thousand, the one that we use for uh, uh, monitors and phones. And it's perfect because hot glue doesn't stick well enough. And uh, super glue or any other glue that I tried is just uh, too brittle. It doesn't flex. And if this plastic moves in any way, it, it, it just breaks. But this glue is flexible enough. It flexes. It's like silicone or, li or like hot glue. But it glues. It attaches very well. It glues very well and uh, holds very well, but it also stretches. Of course, then it's a bit ugly, but the owner doesn't care, so I'm not going to waste any more time with this. The screen works perfectly, and uh, I've done the same thing Oops, right here. And I've done the same thing with the same glue, and it holds perfectly. Now you can just... Open the screen with one hand, and everything is fine. Uh, so uh, another thing that happened when the laptop dropped was the hard drive is gone, and that's what we're gonna do. Everything else works. Everything is fine. Nothing actually uh, broke, other than the screen, of course. And uh, we can just change the hard drive install some windows on it and uh, we're done that's it let's open this laptop and I'll show you how to disassemble it just to get to the hard drive the first thing we gotta do is remove these three screws that are marked with a keyboard sign and you'll see why we'll just unscrew this Again, magnets. And if the magnet doesn't want to come off, if the magnet doesn't want to come out, this, yeah, that's the way you do it. Just stick a magnet, and there we go. Now, turn it around. Now, we need to take the keyboard off which is already off and it's just 
remove it. I'm not going to need it for now. Now, first thing, remove this screw which holds the optical drive. Take the optical drive out. Easy said and done. And then go back and undo the rest of the screws. There's two little ones here. There we go. Everything's removed. Now, if you don't have a blown out hard drive like I do, uh, maybe a good idea not to put the magnet around anywhere. Especially if you don't know where the hard drive is. Mine is right there. So, uh, not a good idea. But mine is destroyed, so I don't care about it. Now, let's come back. I need to remove some screws underneath the keyboard close it back up and now we can remove everything There we go. That's it. That's it. It's pretty easy. Now our hard drive is right here. And we need to unscrew stuff again. Right. Remove uh, this. Yeah, of course, like I said, it's been opened before, so most of the screws are missing. But anyway, um, they're not structural screws, so we can, we can do with a few screws missing. If any screw was needed to be there, I would just replace it, but that's how it came to me. the frame this is the old hard drive it's a Hitachi 500 gigs um, let me show you something here it's not a generic Hitachi it's a Lenovo Hitachi weird it's a Len not really weird but this is the old one Gonna leave it there, and this is a new one. Weird, weirdly enough, I found a drive that is pretty much the same, but it's not a Lenovo like this one. But anyway. Does it say do not eat? Yeah. Do not eat. Yeah, whatever.
and that's pretty much it so all we gotta do is close it back up go and install windows and we got a pretty happy laptop Now you need to keep, uh, because of the tops are broken, now I just need to keep the keyboard press against the screw so I can screw it. Uh, normally you wouldn't have to do that, but in this case uh, a lot of things are broken so we can excuse it. Now since we don't have all the screws, I'm gonna start with the most important ones, which are the corner ones. And there we go. Now, let's install Windows and uh, we have a happy little laptop again. Right. It's another service droid repair. Thank you for watching. Down there you know what to do. Um, by the way, if you need me to do any repair like this and that you don't want to do yourself, email me. You're going to find my email down there or in the About section of my channel and uh, see you next time thanks a lot thanks for watching bye bye